step three, the children progress from reading and writing phrases to sentences and then to reading books. And the aim is for every child to learn 12 new letter sounds as well as revising the previous 30 letter sounds, write the new letter sounds from dictation, forming them correctly, blend and segment words that use the new and previous letter sounds, learn about capital letters, the sounds and how to write them, read and write 20 tricky words, read and write sentences that use the letter sounds and tricky words that have been taught, and start reading the first level decodable readers. The 12 new letter sounds are y, as in yes, x, at the end of fox, ch, chop, sh, ship, th, this, th, thin, that's group six of the letter sounds. Now group seven, qu, queen, ow, out, oi, oil, you, at the end of rescue, er, her, ah, uh, arm. As you will have noticed, the th was written in two sizes. And this was for the same reason as the double O in step two. It has two sounds. There's the th as in this, that, and with, and the th as in thin, throat, and cloth. The children have to try both the sounds when working out a new word that has the th digraph in it. If the th doesn't work, then they try th. Now there is another digraph in this group of letter sounds that has two sounds. It is the u sound, as in these words. Rescue, statue, and dew. But it also has an oo sound, as in blue, glue, and true. If the children try and say the u for these words, it sounds a bit like oo. And they easily jump from saying b l u to blue, blue. I used to get the children to remember this by saying you oo as if calling to someone. You oo. Then if the u didn't work, they tried the oo. Now, once again, it's worth pointing out that with some words, the pronunciation varies. For example, with the word dew, in the UK, it, is u it usually has a U sound, but in America, it is often pronounced with an U sound, and they say do. There is no right or wrong. It is just the way language evolves in different parts of the world and in different areas of the same country. And by trying U or U, the children choose the one that is appropriate for their pronunciation. Now, with the alphabetic code, the letter Y is an interesting letter because it can be a consonant or a vowel. Now in step three, it is being a consonant and it has a Y sound. It usually comes at the beginning of words like yes, yell, yap. Later on, the children are taught that the letter Y can be a vowel and then it is linked to different sounds but at this stage we keep it simple and they just learn that it has a y sound. Now, after the y sound, the children are taught the other letter sounds, one after the other, usually one a day. So after the y, we come to the x, the ch, sh, th, th, qu, ow, oi, you, or oo, er, uh, and ah. Uh.